Hi, I'm Susan Hogan from the Staten Island Museum, and welcome to Super Science. Have you ever wondered why every time you eat salty food, you get thirsty? Or why fresh vegetables tend to shrivel up when you sprinkle salt on them? The answer is simple. Salt is a desiccant. A desiccant is the name of a substance that pulls water out of things. Salt also has antimicrobial properties, which means it stops bacteria from growing and helps prevent decay. This is exactly why the ancient Egyptians used salt when they were mummifying bodies. Ancient Egyptians preserved human bodies after death by making them into mummies. In Egypt, a special salt called natron was used to remove moisture and to prevent the body from decomposing. Natron is a naturally occurring desiccant that is found along the banks of the Nile River. Mummification was practiced in Egypt and could preserve bodies for thousands of years. The mummification process has allowed modern day archeologists to better understand the lives and culture of ancient Egyptians. It's time to investigate the science behind mummification by making our own mummified apples. In this experiment, we will try to remove moisture from an apple and prevent decay. This is similar to the way that ancient Egyptians removed moisture from bodies in order to make mummies. To mummify your apples, you will need the following ingredients. Two apples, one cup of baking soda, one cup of salt, a spoon, a vegetable peeler, a large measuring cup, and two plastic containers. The first step is to prepare the desiccant. Mix together, one cup of baking soda, and one cup of salt. The apples in my experiment are small. If you're using larger apples, you can adjust the amount of your mixture by staying with a one-to-one -one ratio of baking soda and salt. The important thing is to make sure you have enough of the desiccant mixture to completely cover your apple in order to pull out the most moisture. The next step is to prepare the apples. Ask an adult to help you with this step. Use a vegetable peeler to remove the skin from one apple, like this. So we're gonna start at the top of the apple and we're just gonna peel down, take off all the skin. You definitely need an adult's help for this. Be very careful. Now we're gonna use the tip of our vegetable peeler to carve a face into this apple that's gonna resemble a mummy. So I'm going to put in two eyes. That's my first eye. My second eye. Put a little nose in. And then I'm going to put a jagged little mouth. Okay, so that's my mummy face. Two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. On my second apple, I'm going to leave the skin on, but I'm going to carve a face into this apple also. We have a face that resembles a mummy carved into both apples. Place each apple in a plastic container. Cover the peeled apple with the desiccant mixture. Leave the other apple in the container by itself. This apple will serve as a control in our experiment to see what happens if the apple is left untreated. Cover and place both containers in a location out of direct sunlight for one week. We'll come back in a week to check on our mummies. Things to consider. Which apple will be better preserved? The treated apple or the untreated apple? Which apple will shrivel up or shrink in size? Which apple will decompose or rot? Record your hypothesis in a notebook and compare your predictions with your observations in one week when you exhume your mummified apple. It is now one week later and time to check on the progress of our mummified apples. The goal of the experiment was to pull the water out of the apples and still preserve its same proportion. We want the face to look good and we want it to shrivel up all in the same way. I touched the top of the apple that was covered in the desiccant and the surface collapsed. The surface is hard and crusty, which shows that the desiccant may have absorbed some liquid from the apple. And if you look inside, you can see it's a little bit hollow. Let's start to exhume the apple. I'm gonna use a spoon to try to get some of this out. The top part seems a little crusty.
We're starting to see that the apple is being preserved. It looks like a lot of the moisture has been pulled out of the apple. Can you see the face? I'm gonna use this brush to try to get some of the, of the eye cavities. So you can see the two eyes, the nose, and the mouth. And this apple is substantially smaller than it was when we put it in the desiccant. What do you think will happen if I leave the apple covered in desiccant for another week? I predict the longer the apple is left in the desiccant, the more moisture will be pulled out and eventually the apple will be completely dry. Let's look at the apple that was left alone in the container. The flesh of the apple has turned brown, but the skin is still firm. I'm going to continue with my experiment to see which apple dries out faster without decaying. Thank you for watching Super Science Saturday with the Staten Island Museum. I hope this inspires you to try this experiment at home and make your own mummified apples just in time for a spooky Halloween.